So, in Skull and Bones Season 1, we have a new mortar called Le Floor. And, uh, yeah, this deals toxic damage. It's very, very, very expensive. You have to buy this from the managers at one of the dens, like one of the helms. So it's going to require an endgame currency. It has to be sovereigns. It's 600 sovereigns. So it is really, really expensive. But if we take a look at the details for this mortar, it's, I believe it's the second highest, like, base damage mortar in the entire game. It's got a rating of 58, which is higher than the others. And if we go down and look at the perks, you have blast. So you add 15% of damage as explosive damage in a 50 meter blast radius. And then you have putrefying. Releases toxic fumes for a short period upon impact, dealing damage and sapping crew stamina. Damage from the toxic fumes cannot be blocked by bracing. So when it comes to PvP, this is a really, really good weapon. Because providing you hit your enemies with it, they cannot brace against that damage. The comes in from the toxic fumes and at the same time as them ticking damage they're going to be losing crew stamina as well and then when it comes to the damage per shot you're getting 12,300 and it deals 1845 explosive damage so what i'm going to do for this one is just give you guys a quick sort of look at exactly what the weapon does this is only a level four i'm hoping the mortar doesn't one hit kill it i mean to be fair it's got armor so it might not if I place it about there, hopefully it sails into it by the time the mortar gets there. No, I fired that in front of it. So we're going to have to wait for it to reload. I mean, to be fair, we don't have to. Like, that was for the initial damage. But if you have a look, you'll see that it's taken some ticking damage from the toxic fumes. So we're reloaded. Let me fire that, and hopefully that one hits. And you'll see as it lands, 11,857. And whilst it's in that small circle you are going to deal ticking damage, and it also builds up the crew attacks as well. So if I fire the muskets, and then I'm just going to finish this one off with the fire bombard. I mean, that should have died. There we go. So yeah, this the, like the radius of the toxic fumes is not that big. I believe you can expand it with the furniture you can get for the mortar, but it's one of the most powerful mortars in the game, and when you're in PvP, providing you hit your targets with it, you're going to be taking away their stamina and you're going to be dealing ticking damage and they cannot brace against the ticking damage. So it's probably going to be better for a PvP weapon than it is PvE. Besides like his base damage being really, really high. You could probably just get away with using the Leopold when you're doing PvE. But PvP is going to be incredible because you can't brace. It's dealing ticking damage and it's depleting your crew's stamina. So that was a look at the Le Floor, the brand new Toxic Mortar in Skull and Bone Season 1. And what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about the mortar in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.